Good job. Oh, she went through me the inside. <laughs> I'm blind and I still follow you. I think that's a hit. All right, so even someone that is not an expert at demo can probably tell that here I am using my power from way too far. And there's no way that I'm going to hit this Claudette. Or am I? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not going to hit her. But there's a reason I use my power so early. And that's because in a short period of time, we've observed a few things. Number one, this player's name was familiar. I thought they were comp players from just, just from seeing them before. And there's a few things in their play style that kind of reinforce this. They realized that I was locked in animation and blinded me, which is something that most players don't think of doing. When they realized that they were not going to make the Shack Palette, even by a little bit, they took no risks and instead took the hit and used the distance well. So this is already telling me that they're going to try a trick. And that's exactly what they did. In this short wall jungle gym, some strong survivors, before taking the window, they will try to fake going around back to the pallet. This is something you can even do from the other side as well. Since the average killer probably doesn't expect it, you have very minimal risk pulling this off, and a big payoff if the killer actually gets confused, giving you a lot of distance. But now that you know this exists, you can do it yourself and play around it.